given question a single cylinder four stroke gas fuel engine delivers a brake power of 20 kilowatt at 6000 rpm air gas ratio 8 is to 1 calorific value of fuel 11 mega joule per meter cube compression ratio 8 is to 1 volumetric efficiency 70% indicated thermal efficiency 33% mechanical efficiency 90% calculate engine capacity of of the engine let us understand given data this is four stroke single cylinder engine brake power is given that is bp 20 kw speed n is given 6000 rpm that is revolution per minute air to fuel ratio is given 8 is to 1 now in this question fuel is used is in gaseous state then calorific value of fuel is given 11000 kJ per meter cube now here if we observe this calorific value denominator is in meter cube because of a gaseous fuel then compression ratio r 8 is to 1 volumetric efficiency nita v 70% indicated thermal efficiency nita ith 33% mechanical efficiency nita m 90% and we have to find out engine capacity so it's a unit is cc that is centimeter cube so i will write here centimeter cube so this is the unit of the engine capacity and we have to find out so how to find out so first we will take indicated thermal efficiency so indicated thermal efficiency is having formula indicated power its unit is kilojoule per second divided by fuel consumption multiplied by calorific value of the fuel now fuel consumption we have to take meter cube per second because of the gaseous fuel so if there is solid fuel then we have to take kilogram per second but because of the fuel is in gaseous state we will take meter cube per second multiplied by calorific value kilo joule per meter cube now if we observe this meter cube meter cube is getting cancelled so numerator kilo joule per second and denominator kilo joule per second so this equation is getting balanced now how to calculate indicated power ip because it is not mentioned in the question but mechanical efficiency is given so mechanical efficiency is brake power by indicated power so we have to take this efficiency 90% that is 90 by 100 0.9 is equal to 20 divided by ip and therefore ip is equal to 22.2 now we will calculate this fuel consumption because if we observe this indicated thermal efficiency is known indicated power ip is known fuel consumption is unknown calorific value is known so when we put all these values then we will get fuel consumption in meter cube per second so when we put these values then fuel consumption we will get in meter cube per second but we will calculate the fuel consumption or the volume of fuel in meter cube so how to calculate this so we have to cancel this per second unit so how to cancel this so for this fuel consumption we have to divide it with number of power strokes per second so how to calculate this number of power strokes per second so it is for four stroke engine for four stroke engine this value of n is equal to n by 2 and for two stroke engine it is equal to n so because here four stroke engine is given so we will take n divided by 2 and we have to take per second number of power strokes per second so this value is given in revolution per minute so we will convert this minute into second with multiplying 16 so n divided by 2 into 60 so when we calculate this then we will get n is equal to 6000 divided by 120 which is equal to 50 per second that is 50 strokes per second so when we divide this this is in meter cube per second so i will write here this is meter cube per second and here is also this is in 
per second that is 50 strokes per second so this per second and per second is getting cancelled and we will get fuel consumption in terms of meter cube that is 0 0.1224 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube but if we observe engine capacity we have to calculate in centimeter cube so how to convert this meter cube into centimeter cube so 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 2 centimeter so i will write here 0 0.1224 into 10 raised to minus 3 multiply 10 raised to 2 raised to 3 because here meter cube is there so 1 meter is equal to 10 raised to 2 centimeter raised to 3 and here centimeter cube so here 10 raised to 6 so 10 raised to 6 and 10 raised to minus 3 that will become 10 raised to 3 so when we multiply here with 10 raised to 3 then it is equal to 122.4 centimeter cube so this is the fuel consumption in centimeter cube from the fuel consumption we will calculate air consumption so here air to fuel ratio is given so we can write here air consumption divided by fuel consumption is equal to a by f now this fuel consumption is in centimeter cube so when we calculate we will get air consumption is also in centimeter cube so fuel consumption we have calculated 122.4 centimeter cube which is equal to 8 is to 1 so with cross multiplication we will get air consumption is equal to 979.2 centimeter cube so this is the value of air consumption so we will find out the swept volume so how to calculate this so we have volumetric efficiency nita v is equal to so it is actual air volume divided by swept volume so actual air volume is given that is the air consumption 979.2 centimeter cube divided by swept volume vs and this volumetric efficiency 70 by 100 that is 0 0.7 so vs is equal to 1398.8 centimeter cube so how to calculate the engine capacity so engine capacity or cubic capacity we can calculate with the help of this swept volume so this swept volume multiplied by the number of cylinders so suppose there are four cylinders or two cylinders in the system then we have to take the value of k is equal to four or two but in this question this is single cylinder engine so k is equal to one so cubic capacity is equal to vs into k which is equal to 1398.8 centimeter cube we will write here as a cc